Hi, it's me. Glad I got that intro out of the way. I got new glasses. They're definitely real and they're not fake KFC Colonel Sanders glasses that I wear because how much sexier do I, like I just look boring, but now I put these fake glasses on, suddenly totally bangable, like totes bangable. I used to love watching Oprah's favorite things and they were always like so relatable, like a washer and dryer. I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to have a washer and dryer when I grow up, how relatable. And then she'd be like, this beautiful coconut scented candle. And I was like, oh my God, I love coconut scented candles. Well, I've grown up and I've now bought my very first place. And so I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to fill it with relatable products. My washer and dryer, totally boring. No one gives a shit. I wanted to show you some of my favorite things that I own that are very unrelatable. This is one of my favorite things. I turn it on to signify that, you know, oh, someone's home and they're looking for a beautiful vegetarian lasagna. That's about anywhere from a, a six inches to maybe eight inches in, in edibility. You know, like a deep lasagna. <laughs> Like everyone loves a deep lasagna, you know, uh, but sometimes you don't want a deep lasagna. You want just an average lasagna because it can hurt. <laughs> you know, it hurts the jaw when you have to eat so much lasagna. It's really painful. It's re How do I get myself out of this hole that I've dug? My first unrelatable favorite thing that I own is this collection of glass fruit. There's just something about glass fruit that screams you've made it. When you are buying glass fruit, you know that you lead an excessively wasteful life. No one needs glass fruit. Who needs glass fruit? Glass fruit does not serve any purpose whatsoever. I mean, look, to be fair, this might serve some sort of purpose, but the rest, um, I mean, grapes. What possible purpose do these serve? Mm. I mean, well, let's not knock it till we try. Right. So this is the very first piece of glass fruit that I owned and it was $10 at a market stall. And it, it's literally traveled with me in all the places I've been renting. Um, it's one of the, it's honestly one of my favorite things that I've owned. And then I haven't been able to find any glass fruit. Like I want to find, I don't want to buy glass fruit online. That's so boring. I want to find like proper antique store glass fruit. And the other day I found a couple of pieces and now I'm just going to round out my collection. I really want an eggplant. A friend of mine has a glass fruit eggplant. I want like a full fruit shop made of glass. Like that is my goal. That's like goal number one for 2020, glass fruit shop. Obviously goal number two will be, you know, go on to uh, make some money so you can afford to buy the glass fruit shop. Item number two is over here. Walk with me. Oh, we're on the move for item number two. It's these. I once ate an avocado, put some sticks in it and put it in a, this thing of water. And look, it has actual leaves on it. Look at the leaves, look at them. I made this plant. It's one of my favorite things that I own because it just, like it represents new growth and new life and reborn. No, none of that bullshit. It just looks really cool on the shelf here. Like how eclectic is this? Avocado trees. Next to them is some, um, what do you call it? Like ocean glass that's washed up that I collected when I used to live in Newcastle. These are some shells that I collected from our family holidays years ago. Like when I was a teenager and they live in these bowls. Oh, how fancy am I? Bowls of glass and shells next to my avocado plants. I'm so and I'm wearing fake glasses. Oh God, I've become everything I didn't want to become. A fucking wanker. And to top it all off, I'm burning a glass house candle. <gasps> I am like the epitome of have made it. And back to dick light. Ugh. I have a current obsession, this is so heavy, for salt lamps. Like I never thought I would be that person that's like, oh my God, I need to turn my salt lamp on to cleanse my ions. I don't know for how many years I thought this was a big block of quartz. You know, like all the people that had them, I'm like, why do you have a quartz lamp? It's so ugly and disgusting. And then someone was like, no, it's a salt lamp. I'm like, a salt lamp made of quartz? And then I realized it's like, it's actually a big block of salt. And what it does is, is it positively charges the ions, which sounds like a gimmicky piece of bullshit. And it probably is, but I'm like, I want positively charged ions in my new home. So I bought one. That's pretty much all of my unrelatable favorite things that no one else would ever have as a favorite thing. So good. Look, there's my glass fruit. Isn't it just so beautiful? I just love it. I just want lots of glass fruit. Anyway, that's pretty much all of my unrelatable favorite things. The rest is kind of relatable, like spray on sunscreen. Yeah, that's good. Is it XNXX? XNXX. 
It's a website I visit quite frequently. That's what, another one of my favorite things. This, I'm currently really into like terrazzo pottery. Good, okay, well that's great. Thank you.